Hey Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. It is Michelangelo Monday. We're kicking off another full week of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here on the channel. I'm going to be reviewing uh, four of Super 7's new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates uh, today through Thursday. And then of course Friday is Audible Interlude Day uh, where we drop the newest episode of that. So... That's why you only get Monday through Thursday over here, because a man can only do so much. Speaking of a man only being able to do so much, I don't remember which waves uh, the four figures I'm reviewing this week are from, because with Super 7, what happens a lot of times is things get kind of pushed together because stuff gets delayed, they have to you know, get different approvals, change certain things, so you may get two waves at the same time, and that's what happened with these four figures that are, well, I'll get into later on how this assortment ended up happening. So uh, we've got the beautiful Super 7 box. We know all about it. Uh, we've got specifically Sewer Surf and Michelangelo with the sunglasses embossed on the front. And then Sewer Surfer Mike, we, uh, you know, this is fantastic. This is the best packaging in the business. And I, you know, I open everything. I'm not really a packaging guy. But uh, I do appreciate well-designed packaging. And when it's got stuff like this really nice glossy print on the back with all the condensation of the sewer and all the, all the sort of grossness, I love it. Sewer Surfer Mike, the wet and wild wave riding reptile. There's a wild wave roaring in and Mike's riding it all the way. He's been working hard to blast the foot and now he's ready to blast the beach sewer surfer style. Armed to the teeth with turtle treats, Mike's the ultimate party warrior. He's ditched the drips, joined up with his boogie boarding buddies, and stayed for the spray. Watch him snap open cans with the crab, keep his balance with the sewer shark twins, all on his sewer-worthy surfboard. Love it. And look at that, look at those bright colors. One of the most toyetic Ninja Turtles ever released, in my opinion. Uh, absolutely fantastic, and it never occurred to me he might use the crab to uh, open his cans up. That's pretty great. So let's get him out of there and see what all we've got. I am generally not purchasing the variant turtles. I wasn't really a fan of them when I was a kid, for the most part. Uh, and, and you'll see in the coming months that there are some that I buy. There are some that I liked when I was a kid. Uh, but, you know, that was something that kind of not got out of control because I think they did a lot of really interesting stuff with the variations on the turtles. Uh, but it just wasn't anything I ever got too into. But there are some early ones like this. Uh, and I'll go ahead and say like Space Cadet Raf uh, that, I, that I also have pre-ordered that really just worked for me. Uh, so I will be reviewing some of the variant turtles or the costume turtles or whatever you want to call them uh, in the future as you can see absolutely loaded with accessories that is the super seven way or the super seven ultimates way anyway interesting we'll take a look at those nunchucks in a minute i, I think they executed those in the best way they could gosh there's there is so much to love about Super 7, and I know the company has its detractors. Uh, and aside from the blind hatred that I see a lot of times, where people just take any opportunity they can to bag on Super 7, and it seems like almost unreasonable, uh, you know, that kind of stuff I don't get. But I do understand there have been quality control problems. There have been... Uh, weird issues like, you know, I actually did point out that Bebop and Rocksteady's accessories are way too small. Like, they totally blew that, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but Super 7 is my favorite toy company. The way that they do things is exactly, uh, as far as design goes, it's like they have a, a window into my brain of what I want and how I would want toys made. And... You know, I just love them for that. So, I am... I cannot claim to be unbiased with Super 7 reviews, but I do think I'm fair. Oh, look at that. That is actually an elastic cord. Uh, 
That's fantastic. You don't know how badly I kind of... Oh, we'll have to take a look at that too. Hmm. Interesting. I'm a little surprised at that. Uh, I, I immediately want to take this guy like into the pool. Uh, clearly, I cannot. If you didn't catch it, we'll take a look at that in a minute. And I'll explain why. Oh, those are... Oh, those are taped in. I do wish Super 7 would adopt NECA's practice of putting plastic uh, covers on top of accessories rather than taping them down. I, I will never be a fan of tape touching my toys. Be very careful with those sunglasses. I'm sure they're a little flexible, but I don't want to... I don't want to take any chances. I have broken things. Oh no, they're nice. They're good. Uh, I have broken things during reviews before. And I don't want it to happen here. As a matter of fact, I have broken uh, Super 7 items. And, and, you know, not because I'm not careful, at least in my opinion, not because of that. Uh, and had to have them replaced. Right there we go. Sewer Surf and Michelangelo released from his plastic. Let's take a look. Gosh, I love this so much. So I, uh, I do not currently own an original Sewer Surf and Michelangelo. I, I've got a few original turtles. Not even a few, a couple, uh, I suppose. Uh, which, by the way, the Punker Donatello is going to be another one that I have, well, I think I already ordered. Uh, I believe he's already been offered. Really nice neck articulation on this guy. It's got, let's see, that head may not pop right off. No, I'm not going to mess with that at the moment. That's going to need heating up before we can swap it out. Look at, so when I was a kid, uh, I was not a huge fan of all of the, like, crud that would be all over the turtles. And now, of course, I recognize that's what makes this line so toyetic and interesting and fun for the creators to work on. Uh, but it also really, really bugged me that all of this stuff would be like the same color plastic as what it was sitting on. Like this crab on his arm might just be green or the one on his leg might just be that same blue. Uh, they didn't the octopus would probably be yellow. And, and I wish I had one of these to sit here and look at right next to for reference, but uh, whatever, I'm judging this on its merits as a modern toy. Uh, but all of this painted detail, look at his little shark buddies with the painted teeth, the painted eyes even. A little crab with the little eyes painted on, uh, the barnacles on his uh, wetsuit. Just really wonderful wonderful detail uh to make a great piece of art to go on your shelf because that is you know at the end of the day to me toys are pieces of art all the shells and the seaweed look at the zipper i mean just the fact that the top of the zipper is sculpted open just a little bit ah this is beautiful Okay, so the little sharky guy is sculpted to the shoulder of the torso. So the arm under that, uh, I would recommend just being careful, you know, when you're moving that arm around. Articulation-wise, I mean, it's, it's the ultimate standard. Uh, and that's another thing that people seem to get really enraged at Super 7 about, is like, these should be better articulated for that much money. And uh, my response to that is, no, they should not. Because they would not be as, as aesthetically pleasing if they had double-jointed elbows and knees. Uh, that is my take, and I understand everybody has a different take on that kind of thing. But if, if they had, had these big, long, double-jointed knee joints and elbow joints, uh, the figure would not achieve the aesthetic that I prefer. Uh, which is this sort of thick, squatty look. Uh, you can look at any of WWE's elite figures and see uh, they've got these long, like all of them look like Stacy Keebler to accommodate those double jointed knees. Uh, the arms aren't quite as bad, but they're they're still. And look, I collect them. I like them. 
uh, but it's a different thing. So for me, if I'm paying top dollar, uh, I want the figure to look great and function well. Uh, and that's just my, and, and uh, people will respond with, oh, well, Japanese articulation. And, and I will say, those figures are ugly. Sorry. And I, I look, they make great toys. I've got some, but they, they, the joints on those are not aesthetically pleasing to my eye. Uh, all right, so we've seen him move around. We've seen these gorgeous, beautiful colors. Uh, he's got the elbow pads and the knee pads are a very, very soft plastic or rubber. Uh, so they are flexible around that joint. And I'm actually really impressed with this guy's ankles. Uh, he's got quite a deep forward bend. Oh man, we're going to get a great surfing pose out of Michelangelo. Uh, and then he's got the tongue out. We've got the one portrait uh, that is kind of the, the have fun, hang loose, big wide open eyes, uh, something a little bit different portrait wise, looks great. Uh, and look at the official turtle brand, Tampo, on his chest there. Uh, so he is fantastic. Let's take a look at the many accessories that Michelangelo came with. We've got a more standard head that is different from the one that came with the regular Michelangelo, uh, but is a little more cartoony, uh, still kind of a fun-loving looking head. We've got these three little doodads that, I'm going to be honest with you, what the heck are they and where do they go? They're, they're fun, they're neat looking, they're not his soda can grenades, they're nothing to do with that. I have no clue what these are, and, and I'm not, uh, I, I've told you guys before, I want to open this and enjoy the experience of opening it and discovering everything that's inside, so no, I didn't go online and look up every accessory and find out what they are. I don't know what these are, I don't get it. They kind of look like they might be like sex wax for the surfboard, but why would there be three in these multicolors? Uh, so you guys tell me in the comments. Let me know. What the heck are these things? What do I do with them? Uh, I've got a couple of throwing stars that are just big, different looking, almost nerf looking throwing stars, throwing frisbees. I don't know. They're gigantic uh, and I like them. We'll look at the back of the box here again, because now I'm really curious about what those little discs are. Snap open cans with the Craig, keep his balance with the Sewer Shark Twins, all in his... Nope, nothing about what those uh, three things are. And these are clearly the Sewer Shark Twins. Like, they've actually given I mean, not much in the way of personality, but they have identified them. Look at this eel! There's so much to look at on this guy. He's wild. This is fantastic. Okay. Uh, we've got his little crab buddy. Now, this one does not have paint on the eyes, which is actually kind of surprising. Uh, although, I guess it's easier to budget paint to go on the figure itself uh, than to have paint for an accessory. He looks great. Sculpt is fantastic. Tons and tons of detail on this little guy. Good little crab buddy. Oh, let's see how these sunglasses work. He's uh, He's got the uh, sunglasses that are a pliable but still sort of rigid plastic. I'd be careful with them. These arms, you know, if you mess with them too much, they could snap off. I could see that happening. But they look good. I love that they painted the lenses on there. And they just kind of... Clip into, pl well, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how well that's really going to work. I'm going to give that a sort of. Let's give it the shake test. Oh, they stay on for the shake test. I'm going to have to give those a thumbs up. Okay. 
Uh, we've got the sprue, which I love that they're getting so artistic with these, uh, because these, if my memory is serving me correctly, uh, these figures did not actually come with the traditional sprue. So this is something Super 7's kind of taking on themselves. And look how great this is. They actually have the line from the surfboard as part of the sprue, the two nunchucks, you know, all of the accessories uh, are on here. A lot of seaweed and junk. I don't even know what this, this thickness. Oh, it's an octopus. Ha! It's fantastic. So this is a nice little piece of art that you have. If, uh, if you are so inclined, you could snip all these pieces off and have some uh, monochrome accessories to go with your Ninja Turtle. Uh, I won't be doing that. A uh, wide variety of hands, uh, pretty much the same ones that come with all the turtles. And I will probably be putting these more open hands on him to achieve a cool surfing pose. Oh, and it's worth pointing out, I totally missed this many turtles ago. Uh, he, the sea grips, uh, he comes with one pair with lateral movement, and the ones that are on the figure right now are the up and down movement. Uh, so that's very cool that Super 7 does that. Uh, let's take a look at his signature nunchucks that are now, uh, they are rubber, which I'm fine with. Normally, I would say, no, for this, you know, premium price, these need to have actual linked chains in them. But you have to have the seaweed and everything sculpted onto these. So in this instance, this being one solid piece is 100% acceptable. Uh, look at the starfish. And these are actually different, too. They're not just the same one twice. Uh, you've got some barnacles and seaweed on this one. Uh, and then you've got some barnacles and seaweed and that little starfish on this one. Uh, and everything is painted. If you notice, all the, the barnacles down there actually are painted on. Uh, these look great. And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I won't put, because I want him holding these, because these look fantastic. Uh, so I guess I am going to leave those sea grips on him. Uh, and then finally, we've got the surfboard itself. And I have to admit disappointment that this is a sticker. Um, the likelihood that I was actually going to take this into water in any way is very, very low, but, uh, now you, you definitely can't because this is a sticker and you can see there's a little bubbling, uh, on this side over here. I really wish this was a tampo. My guess is that due to the curvature of it, it maybe would have been difficult to execute. I don't know. Uh, but I, I absolutely would have preferred a tampo on this. Although I will say, at least I didn't have to put the sticker on myself. Uh, but solid, very well done surfboard. Like I said, that is an actual elastic uh, string. And then you've got the little cuff to go around his ankle. I'm going to very carefully undo that. This is a uh, rubber, soft plastic. I can see that little top just popping right off there. This could have been... I couldn't have really been much more rigid. I don't know what a better execution for this would have been. So just be very, very careful with this little nub right up at the top here. Uh, so let's get this guy on his surfboard. I'm leaving the tongue head on. So I'm actually good with that as is. I bet these hands are going to be really rigid, and I might not be able to get the chucks in there. I, I wish Super 7 would make these hands just a little more forgiving. Just a little softer plastic than what they are. Uh, because they're just slightly tougher to get into their hands than I think is absolutely necessary. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's how I snapped one of the wrist pegs uh, because I just didn't want to heat it up because I really don't feel you should have to heat a hand up to get an accessory into it. Uh, it's one thing switching heads or whatever. That, uh, you know, I can kind of understand. But to get an accessory in a hand, you, that you should be able to just do that. Uh, okay, so let's put that cuff around that ankle. I'm not going to bother popping that 
back through right now because we're, we're doing a review here. We're live, pal. And let's see how well. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That pops right in. That goes right into place. And there you go. Sewer surfing Michelangelo. Uh, the, the pegs fit really well into the feet. So it's not too loose. It's not too difficult to get on there. They did a nice job with that. He looks great. Oh, I love him. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. Come back tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday for more Ninja Turtle Ultimates reviews. And uh, until next time, cowabunga, dude! Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.